Right, what's going on? Look out your bark. Bulwark has been gaining ground on the caravan. So we're being chased by Bulwark, who we killed previously, but death is but an ephemeral thing in this universe. He's in a full-on sprint. An axe flies. Okay, well, he's also possessed by Bellower, or at least he was. Hopefully he's not still. Shaggy is really worn down. Poor guy is, uh, well, he aged about 40 years in our previous fight. I feel bad for Shaggy, but there are other people to feel worse for in the Mender's Guild. Bulwark's watching malevolently from afar. When his warped army turns to spring behind a home. Hmm. At least he seems to remember the sting. This is a prized possession made from his own horn. Ah. The only reason he'd throw it is because he thought he could end this here and now. That's right, he had his dual axes. It's a shame to think that I won't be playing as Bulwark again, but at least I get his shield maiden. I'm more worried about a Bulwark I can't see than one I can. What, we're not going to keep the axe? Cassie says, how's my favourite stream today? Um, we've had some good and some bad today. The bad coming by name of Shadow Empire. Ooh, some of us still need to sleep. You haven't rested since leaving Strand. If I know Bulwark, that's what he's waiting for. He's going to tire us out before bringing down the other axe. I cannot sense the warped approaching. We will rest little and lightly. Hmm, I mean, I really, really do not trust Juno whatsoever. She might be the only one keeping us alive, but that doesn't mean I need to do everything she says. Death is always an option. Folka, you've got a clear head about you. What are we doing? Count on an attack tonight. You seek out a rocky outcropping that covers as much of your back as possible. Everyone but the lookout sleep. Clever girl. See, there's the thing. She's an experienced mercenary. Juno's just some wandering deadweight that we've picked up. As expected, the warp come. Bulwark is nowhere, but you can't shake the feeling he's watching. Is this going to be another uh, attack where I can't... Okay, good, I can sort out my party ahead of time. It was doing a lot of that last time, not getting to choose what we do. Juno, stay the hell. I do not want you here. Sigbjorn is somebody I have not invested in at all, even though he's meant to be a discount good off. I like Bach. Well, the point is, I haven't spent my points for everybody, have I? Folk has done... Ollie is not done. What does he have? Break, movement. I like him breaking because he's a ranged individual. There's a lot of things I like about you. But there's also your hit chance, which is good. Your axe storm is incredible. If it's uh, pulled off and you get lucky. And I like getting lucky. Basically, Ollie's amazing. I should strongly consider giving him a strength item, all things considered. But these guys don't have a lot of items. Less aggro, more move, more EXE to ah, screw the specific talent things. Dodge strength and strength. Oh, that's nice. Keep your little shank. It, it looks much like a ski and do, honestly. Spot. I can't get enough of Spar. Wandering around with a Let's bracelet. Does he even know a Let? I don't think he does. Might have crossed paths once or twice in a uh, previous place. Tons of renown to go around. I like Shaggy, right? There's not much point giving him break, but then again... No, he needs a lot of willpower, because that makes his mending incredibly powerful. As long as he stays back and doesn't get hurt for it. I just wish I had better tools for these uh, these poor buggers. Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. Oi, oi, oi. Let's keep you alive. And just give you as much willpower as possible. Now, I don't really know you. You popped out of nowhere. I guess you're just my, uh, my gun murder replacement. But when you have Folka, why would you want another shield around? She is incredible at shielding. Oh god, I got Bercy. I'd managed to forget about you entirely. Keep yourself propped up, my friend. The Warhawk. Juno, oh my days. Of course, Juno was never playable before, so go figure she has a lot of points to go around. 
And even that gives you some to spare, doesn't it? What should you do? What do you do? Confuse? She's probably very overpowered and I'm not using her right. I don't know what confusion does, though. Bolsters the willpower of a teammate, creates an aura of confidence. If the teammate is adjacent to another teammate, their willpower increases and it's passed on to them. It boosts each time. Okay. And she just keeps bringing herself back to life because she's a witch. Right, well, try your best to avoid strength attack. I mean, I hate it when the enemy does it, so I'll likely love it if it happens to me. Mm. Yeah, get yourself some armor back every now and then. That's fine by me. No items for you, right? Mm. Extra strength on you seems like such a waste, though. Less aggro. I'd rather have less aggro on Shaggy. Shaggy just has the willpower right now, right? Who is this guy? Ditch. I really should be using these points, though, because if I don't and I get forced into a battle, I feel naked without them. Have we used everybody's points? Not quite. Who we missed there? <gasps> How could I forget? Krumer's on the party with his big old yox nuts. Doesn't matter how I did, the fact it's that I did. Right back. Always something to stick, mind you. And you've got the, bro uh, the bonus crit chance, that's good. You're a pig sticker. Hmm. It's kind of tempting to give you another point or two in that, rather than just giving you this. I might actually do it like this. There we go. Go for those crits. Ditch is a rogue, he's kind of cool. Let's have a look at you, Ditch. He's a tracker. So is he similar? He looks similar to Rook, but without the bow. Yeah, he's got the light step rally. Character is an expert in city warfare, darting in and out of the. Oh, right, he can disappear, can't he? That's a track thing. So he can disappear and then ignore armor. That's good and all, but I mean, I just don't have the attachment to this guy. He just popped in out of nowhere. Krumer, on the other hand. You know, this isn't a bad lineup altogether. Ah, Krumer. Rank 9 war leader. What's he got going from here? He can avoid an armor attack quite well. Alright, how's this going to go? Folka charges in. And then what? I don't even know. How much attack does Sigbjorn go up to? Not a lot. Surprisingly low cap on you. Evan goes last because he mends. I don't, honestly don't think the, the order matters much. Folka can go in and protect. Krumer goes in and breaks armor like nothing on earth. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's got that extra break talent going for him to avoid armor attack. Lovely. I wonder if you wouldn't benefit from another level up or two. I mean, how can I not, right? This, oh god, that's how not. It's incredibly expensive. But his ability could be improved some more, right? He doesn't have full Tempest Swing. Here you go, man. You've earned it. I might even just promote you again for the hell of it. Again, why'd it cost ten for the next one? Will on kill, move, strength... Damage with no adjacent, adjacent allies, plus one to strength attacks. He's a big guy, he's going to have a lot of adjacent allies. Hmm. Oh no, this gives to adjacent allies, I have to remember that. Hmm. The last standing. Armor, will, extra strength and armor, the unmoved. Yeah, I mean, one thing that this guy suffers from is a crippling lack of armor. Giving him more of that would be nice. <laughs> the idea that such an old man could be the Whisper appeals to me, though. The idea that he'd be much less aggro, extra move, and extra dodge. 30 dodge, though. That's insane. Hmm. Hard to not go for the unmoved, though. Strength, armor, strength, resist. He is going to be in there for quite a long time. Don't you dare die on me. Now, what 
actually gonna get? Bonus, no, I don't actually like crit chance. And it's actually quite good to um, to give him death to five because he's a breaker. No, but he needs to finish that off. We'll give him death to five. I think I'd rather have him, uh, give him dodge than resist strength damage. Mm, I'll go for it. <laughs> and thus there was no more renown. Ah, still renowned, but he's getting it. All right, spent a lot of points, but uh, that's neither here nor there. It was all, all to make sure that the oldest man commands this thing. God, he's got level eleven compared to these scrubs. Right. Oh, the one thing is, I could give him the Wayrite's amulet if he doesn't like his yox nuts. The yox nuts break, which is amazing. This thing aggro move yet yeah, no way. Keep your nuts, old man. Let's get to it. Ivor could use some of the consolation prize for his arm. Ivor has done great things, but we've given him plenty, right? Hmm. Ambush. Thank you, Folka. They outnumber us, which is actually useful. They are weird, though, and I have... Wait, is there another one there? There is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. Right, warp. Random effect per turn also explodes on death. Of course. Divides damage between strength and armor on up to three adjacent targets in front of the bear. So let's not stand in a line, shall we? Devours. And these warp things are weird as all hell. Since they're stuck over here and kind of blocked by each of these big buggers, it's better for me to focus my attacks here with the uh, defense on this side. So to that effect, you you two are going to be there. I forget if you guys give... Um, no, you don't give adjacent shield bonus, but you're still pretty good. I mean, Ollie does, but not everybody does. So it's probably good for our Varl to be over here. They can stumble over each other. You two are the walking shields on this side. You just chase behind old man, ready to tell your tale. And you just stay the heck back. There is no need for you to get involved in anything. Just mend us. I forget what the range on your mending is, but just stay on this side for us all. So you're going to rush in, probably shield up. And then everybody else gets, uh, gets to charge on in. Maybe not. Infinite range on the mending. Well, that's good to know. Hmm. This might not be optimal, but it's what we've got. He'll be able to come in and do a bit of armor breaking on us, most likely, but we have to advance one way or the other. That champion thing again. That's the one that. Da, 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 you take half damage from attacks right when you're adjacent to. Well, it's nice and all, but not happening. Alright, Yox Nutter, get close and get cozy. That was maybe a bit too cozy. Yeah, what the hell? What are they honestly going to do to the oldest man alive? 1719. I like that. I like this a lot. Man, giving Krumer actual shield seems pretty good. Now, do I want to forge ahead? Might be able to get an, a bit closer with you. In fact, mm, no, I don't think that's what I want. Old strong old man. Oh, I didn't pay attention to who has a big attack. Uh-oh. Well, that answers something. And they've still got a l Oh my god, their willpower is through the roof. And you broke hard. Yikes. I'm going to be tripping over my own Varl at this rate. But I want to be close to you when you start mulching things. Start telling some cool tales. I could insult this guy. Oh, they have reinforcements coming in, I see. Well, how about that? 
Well, I'll just hold off unless you want to help her out. Okay, so I'm starting to see how this comes together. Tale worth telling would be really good on somebody with low strength but never deflect. So then you can hit somebody with very high strength and do criminal damage to them. It's a way to get a bit of extra meat out of somebody. I think I'll insult you potentially next turn. You're going to come up and hit this guy. Do you not? Jinx, do I just not know how this game works? Right, Ivor knows the Tempest Slash, which could hurt both of these things. If I'm willing to pour in the willpower. Would be a nice bit of declawing on both of them, honestly. So we shall. Unless I find out that he doesn't actually know Tempest. Oh, thank god, I thought he didn't have it there. Nice. Did he resist some of that? Willpower absorbs all strength damage. I managed to forget that. Wait, how come your willpower didn't? Okay, you don't have it. Still, that says goodbye to your willpower, which is quite nice. Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. Oi, oi, oi. Your axe storm is very cool, but not what we're about to use right now. Plus one willed all allies are standing with two tiles. Okay, so same as Aletto. I keep forgetting that. So if I were there, yeah, it's probably best just to break. Ollie could break seven of that, and then whoever goes in next does something pretty mean to them. Yeah, Ollie's got good range. There is very little point in exhausting him. Expertly done. Ivor, watch out! Hmm, <laughs> and he does. Oh, oh, what the heck was that follow-up? I don't know, but if Ivor moves one step forward, he can tutium the whole lot of those guys, and I feel... A little bit of mending is in order for you. Let's just keep ourselves way away from everything else. And mend you. Now, I know he has some offensive capabilities, but is that really what I'm looking for? I don't think so. Oh, it's so good to get that uh, armor back, though. Oh, man, I wish that Ivor had full strength Tempest Slash. He'd take care of all of them, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't. Right, you're up again. What to do? I could certainly do with this guy being mulched a bit, but we're not there yet. I think you should honestly just break him down a bit more. Hell, a lot more, and then Ivor could just obliterate him. Yeah, I should probably kill relatively quickly, given that there are reinforcements coming in. So, as tiring as this may be... Mm, yeah, Spar will get close to Ivor, so then we'll hear the, the tale worth telling for this. Don't like slingers. Not racist, just don't like them. I can't check the level of Ivor's uh, Tempest Slash, but I'm pretty sure it's not level 3. If it were, he could get all 4. So it might be worth me taking care of this guy first and foremost. And then Ivor can focus on everything else. Shame Spar isn't a little closer, but... Just bring it down. Lovely, that explosion isn't getting in the way either. My only concern is you. And there's not a whole lot you can... Well, you could sling, I suppose, but I don't think that's going to do too much. All right, Spar. You shall go here. I will move forward one, and you'll still be within range of a tale worth telling. And you don't need to insult anybody for this. Just existing there is pretty good. What'll it be? Nothing bad. Now. Now, now, now. Wait, oh right, we have resist. But what did I walk through that hurt there? Am I bleeding or something? Impaled takes one strength damage. Thankfully the Nemesis Ring, which we tore off of Bulwark, is helping us out there. Okay, yeah, there we go. Tempest Slash is only level 2, but right now that's all I need. <laughs> Those guys didn't do so well. All right, have at then. Ollie, what are you feeling? Yeah, I think that bear needs to go as well, but it's, uh... I don't like it. I don't like that bear. 
Maybe get over there and just start slinging your axes at it. That 16 strength is a little scary though, I don't like it. How's its break? 3 break. It's unlikely to break when it can hurt us badly though. I'm going to waste my time on these sods. They're not going to do much damage as they are. That guy will. Oh boy, when his turn comes in, Ivor's in for a bad time. Thankfully Shaggy can mend Ivor. They're making some scary noises, by the way. Explodes on death, surrounding allies, gain plus three will. Hmm. Alright, I'll even make it matter against that beast. Although, if you were closer, you'd give uh, your shield bonus, but no, Ollie must be used offensively. Well placed axe. <laughs> nice try, but not nice enough. Come on, my steamstress. Mend Ivor. Uh, Ivor wants 8, and I will get 10, so that's good. Yeah, well, they keep trying, don't they? Now, Shield Maiden. Probably best that somebody deals with that bear before the bear deals with us, but this thing's a considerable threat. Less so to Ivor now that, he goes, now that he has got his armor back. But there's something to be said for you blocking its approach. So if you go here, this guy can't move anything meaningful except into you. And you have 20 shield, so uh, that sounds like a good deal for us. And you're in range to either declaw or de-armor that bear. Hmm. Ollie's turn is a while away. I don't want Ollie to get bear mauled. Simple as. Quit your moaning, man. A little expensive on the willpower, but we're drowning in it. Anything to end this guy's career? That does open you up to an unsightly rampage, but you have just the armor to handle that. So, in short, get on with it! Ivor's a bit trapped. Too bad. Not unexpected, but we took it. Now, Spar, how do you feel about all this? Probably not great. Uh, I'll probably be taking you away from giving us a tale worth telling. Depends how much I want that willpower, or I want you helping out offensively. Now, you know what? We'll be getting a tale worth telling out of this um, out of this bear thing anyway. So why don't you go and shank it, and then whoever gets the killing blow, just do it close to you. Could even move you there if you really want. Yeah, he's got the armor to handle whatever comes. And I know I have these. Don't You don't need to remind me. I'll use them when the need arises. Oh, he's got plenty of uh, willpower put to use. Uh-oh. It can charge through. It just, uh, just did an armor break. I'm open to that. Wait, what the hell happened to... Um to Folka. Folka is warping. Every round, plus, minus one strength, minus one armor, minus one will, or plus one strength. Weird, but okay. Is that something that you do? I don't get it. Well, perhaps I never will. Hmm, Ivor's a little banged up here. Should probably start breaking this thing. That way old man can come in and really give what's for. Who's going next, anyway? You are, but I'm not really scared of anything you do. So that's the ability of warp. I thought warp was giving him random effects, but oh well. Battering ram, that pushes him back, but I don't think that's going to help me here. Nope, just take care of some of that armor. It's getting on my nerves. Oh, something went down on you. 
I thought something went down. Maybe he had... Uh... No, I don't actually know what happened. His strength resist probably took it down, that's it. Alright, Ollie, you're going to kill yourself a bear. It's something every man has truly wanted to do in his life. But I don't like its charge through ability. Not that I like this guy being so close with his attack, but... Let's at least get ourselves a tale worth telling. And you can do it from there. And then you're still within Spar's range. But before I do that, I should zap somebody, otherwise it's just going to be wasted. If I zap you, it'll zap this thing as well, but then it'll also zap you. Sometimes I just don't know how to use this thing. If I zap you, is it going to channel to them or not? I just don't know. But if I zap you, it's definitely going to hurt her. Okay, good. It didn't travel down there. That would have been tragic, because it would have done a lot of damage to you. Still, I can chain that up later. For now, let's have a tale worth telling. <laughs> Nemo who lacy. Ivor is feeling a bit banged up. Could somebody please fix his clothes? He needs uh, seven. And thankfully, Shaggy is getting tons of willpower. Thanks to the tale worth telling. So he can mend to everybody's heart's content. Reinforcements in soon. I need to get a move on here. Ah, Fulka's feeling a bit under the weather here. This guy needs to start taking some serious damage. But what I can do is move Folka here, armor break, and then Big Man gets his big shot in. And I think I can make this really work, actually. Go there, and then zap you. Oh, shoot! No, then it's going to hurt you still. Ah, uh, mistakes were made. Dang, I was planning on zap zapping. If I was going to do that, I should have stood here. But I've already made my move. Hmm. Depends how much I want to tank those hits myself. And the answer is not much. Oh well, big man, big old man is still going to do quite a bit to you. I should focus more on zapping some of these guys that are sitting a little too pretty on their health. I wonder if I zap them, will they go away? Will you... No, I already zapped you and you didn't wonder. Whatever, you can enjoy a bit of a zap. Oh, he's so dead. But it's his attack next. Whoops. Okay. Wasn't counting on that. Funny, why did I not think it was his attack next? It doesn't matter much. He's about to be permanently declawed. Actually, I'd rather he just outright died. Good, it doesn't travel. Good, it still doesn't travel. Get bent. This wasteland is... Hold on, the, the, the stuff on the ground disappears uh, as time goes on. Interesting. Right, you're the one that goes next. Spar is, Spar is in pretty good shape, honestly. The important thing is that Spar stands next to people who are about to land killing blows. I think if he stood around here, he'd be fine in general. And good for that. Maybe there, even. No, that blocks Ivor moving a bit closer. Mm, well, try, try as you may to bring down the spar. He will not be brought down. You can die. Hell, honestly, the both of you can... Oh, no, I can't. Tudium you. I'll stay there so I don't block uh, Big Man's approach, but otherwise you are going nowhere but down. 
bow down before the might of the old man, says, potentially the oldest man alive. Can't think of any older men that we've found. Right, now is the time. I gotta bring these two down, but how? Probably you. You're the easiest one to take down. Ah, uh, but Crummer's gonna... No, Crummer has strength resist, doesn't he? Yeah! Oh, but this saps will. Mm. Well, he has lots of will anyway. Just champion through it and kill this thing. If you even have to, all uh, Folka could probably do that. Might be better to kill you, because then I can do it in range of you to get the old man bonus. Let me think. I have 11, so I'd need to completely declaw you for Folka to do it. Nah, you're probably going to be the one. But if you're going to be the one, I still want you to be within sparring distance of it. So, uh, Ollie, get to work doing what you do. Hmm, nice try. Okay, who needs mending the most? Honestly, we're all pretty good. Shield Maiden's a little lacking. Otherwise, we're pretty good. Yeah, Shield Maiden it is. Oh, it goes up to our boosted over maximum. I like the sound of that. Okay, you can actually just kill that thing and go for the pillage. So, stand here and do exactly that. Maybe she gained strength during all that, who's to say? Oh, we don't have the horn for the extra willpower. Shoot. Alright, well, if nothing else, I'll declaw you. They really don't want me to get my, uh, my big shout going. Oh well, it matters not. Spar gets to move next. And then we decide exactly how this guy dies. Oh, their reinforcements come in very soon. I don't care who gets the kill, just get it soon. Don't want to go through there and lose willpower, but it's not like he has a big use for willpower. Probably better just taking that. Ollie deserves some kill recognition. Oh, I'm running out of running out of rounds to do it, but I believe in Ollie. Well, if it's not Ollie, nine over five. You'll be fine, Ollie. Just take it down. Tale worth telling for all. Lovely. Bring on the reinforcements just in time. Okay, I really don't see much of a reason to change what we have, right? She may be warped right now, but it seems to be doing her some good. Shaggy's there in the back row. We know the enemy's going to come in from that side. Do I have to move Shaggy onto the board? He's doing fine where he is. Maybe this is the turn order that perseveres. It's so hard to tell. I'd hate to have Spar just stuck there, though. Mm -hmm. Jake may I suggest a Frostpunk challenge, says Tar Altarion. I mean, nothing stopping you, but I see Frostpunk is done. The game has no mod support, no more content coming out. I have squeezed every last drop of challenge that I can think of out of the game. If there's something to come back to, it is eluding me proper. Now, what more is to come here? We're both banged up here. Actually, a lot of us are banged up, and I don't have the ability to heal those. Unless, are you able to heal? He Target heals for half of her current willpower. Can't go above max. Might actually be worth having you in. As long as I have you just, like, stuck around the back. C3 is done too, though, to be fair. I don't think so. Caesar 3 is a good city builder in and itself. Building a beautiful city is always a nice thing to do. And because it actually has a modding scene, 
we can make such uh, challenges for it. Oh man, Spar is looking good. I don't want to pull him out, but these guys need some healing up. I might have to pull Spar out. Sorry, man. But everybody got their... Well, everybody has a respectable amount of willpower. Oh, Alphan only has six. But still, healing up uh, Ivor and Old Man is probably a good idea. Yeah, we are a bit knackered here, but let's believe. Let us continue to believe. Mm, that loading scene <laughs> fills me with a bit of dread. And a lot of war. Oh my days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I know I said that's sometimes an advantage, but maybe not now. Oh, but the way they're set up, could I not just arc lightning the bunch of them? Well, you'd hit both of you at least, surely. Eh? Ah, uh, I can't hit them because they're not on the map. Well, what I can do is mend some armor. Starting with yours. A big old crewmer. Wow, that seven armor is going to be very useful. So what the heck are they doing? It's worth noting who the boss monster is. You? Really? Jeweled petal ring. Bonus strength damage when stationary. Ooh. Plus three will, one will per turn, one break, two will talents. Yo. Uh -oh. hmm. Right, well, I know that you are retreating. Hold on, is there a range to your uh, strength of will? Oh, there is. I have to keep her close for this to work. All right, who's getting it, Ivor or the oldest man? Probably uh, Ivor right now. This is not going to heal for much, sadly. Well, this gives me turns to do this. Which is, I suppose, quite nice. The only downside is uh, eating damage from this. Also gives me turns to rest and regain uh, willpower, actually. Let's, let's put that to use. Also, it gives me opportunity to use my Arc Lightning. I don't see any reason to uh, exert ourselves here. Let's take this opportunity. Ivor could also do with some extra resting. Oh, I like the position that you're in. I can zap the two of you. Wait, what do you mean? I oh, there's a range on this, isn't there? Right, right, no wonder I couldn't. If I just move one bit forward, I can zap both of you. And if I move quite a bit forward, I could fling something at you and do more, and probably get away before they can do anything. Because they have so many units. Alright. Ollie, you're an absolute madman, so make this matter. Go in, zap him. Yeah, oh wait, absorbed? Oh right, his willpower is absorbing the attacks. Well, they would anyway, wouldn't they? And break the bugger. That guy took a hit though, and he's down to eight. That's wonderful. Anyone else to mend? Yeah, our shield maiden. Our shield maiden? She's 17 out of 17, though. Ollie could actually do with a couple back. On you go, it's not like you're doing much else. Two armor, that's two less uh, damage that we take. Alright, who else deserves it? The old man? Probably the old man. We're not made of willpower here, though. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't spend extra on that. Move there if you must. 
then strengthen his will. That's nice. That's real nice. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, plus one? I don't know what's happening with her shielding, to be honest. Uh, when it's Ollie's turn, I think he would really be good to zap you, because then it's going to zappy zap all the way around. But for now, let us stay where we are. Regain that willpower. Oh, oh, he's just asking for it here. Mind you, they're really piling up there. Couldn't you forge ahead? No, you don't have forge ahead. It's the oldest old man that has forge ahead. He could keep using it on Ollie. Well, that would only really work once. Keep resting up. Corona challenge. Hell no, right? I am... What? Oh no, we've seen this before. He does this weird... Oh no, it was just a regular attack, I think. I hope. Right, Ollie, you're in range to make this matter. You could hit there, then there, then there. For good damage. Or... No, not the other way around. It's a pretty good zap, though. Mm -mm. He likes it. He likes it a lot. And that's absorbed that and declawed two of them. You could continue to declaw. Depends how safe you want to be, Ollie. How mad is the madman Ollie? They get their turn next. If they move out of the way, that's a problem. If they don't, that's less of a problem. Might be better just to move you back a lot. They're all going to come for us now, though. We need to have a plan, and I've not been working on a plan. Ollie there is at huge risk of being mashed. Well, no, not that we've really anchored down on their strength. These two, though, they're a threat. You don't get a turn for ages. You also don't get a turn for ages. It might be worth racing on it. No, we're not close enough to race on it. I could also race back, keep myself away from anything these two can do. That might not be wise, though. Might be better just charge on in. You don't have the range to do any of that, though. Because those guys are just stuck on themselves for ages. These two need declawing badly. The rest of these are just schmucks. 11 strength and 14 armor. Ollie could head over and declaw you. You could move on over and shank, and then we kind of migrate in this direction faster than they can counter-react. It's not the best idea I've ever had, but it might not be the worst. Go, Ollie. Make it matter. This guy runs up. What does he do? A whole lot of not much. Anybody need mending? If not... Then maybe I could try one of your offensive spells. Trail stones. Impassable shards on empty tile causes one strength damage to adjacents. Well, actually I could put that over here to stop the advance of those guys. Arc lightning. Nice and all, but no thanks. What's the risk on your stones? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not bad. If you were here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's pretty huge. And I wouldn't mind something here. Yeah. On you go, Shaggy. Where do you get this better staff? I swear you didn't have that before. How do I do two stones, then? Oop. I, I guess. Okay. Might be handy. 
Right, this has bought me plenty of time to bring Ivor up to uh, full scratch, which is good. The only big downside is that oldest man is kind of blocked here. Unless I want oldest man to go and engage on this side, but it's kind of good that I've left these guys fairly useless against me. I should focus fire on these things as much as possible. So perhaps you could actually move this way, and that'll let the oldest man come down here. Folk is going to move, and then Ivor moves in around here as well, and they're forced to come in through this way. That leaves you a sitting duck over here, but, you know, too bad. Oh, that's right, I wanted to do Ivor. Yeah. I guess I could go there. Ivor needs to move up and across anyway. That doesn't leave you a lot of options for moving across, but... You wouldn't have them anyway. Half of Alfred's current wish. Alfred's got some half-decent will going here. Maybe she regains will every turn and I'm not noticing it. Mm, yeah, maybe. Anyway, Ivor, we need you now more than ever. And we've needed you a lot in the past. Right, what's your story then? Declawing? When's their turn? Ollie is a bit strength def uh, deficient now. So I should probably declaw that thing a bit. You're relatively safe here, but you also block some old manning. Might prefer you over here, even though the willpower cost is large. Or even here. No, that's better. And that's even better, I think. But you don't draw aggro that way. These things are eventually going to get a turn, and my old men are going to bring them in anyway, so it's probably best to have my big shield on this side. Yeah, actually, if it's there, it blocks a lot of, uh, a lot of nasties coming in my way. Even more so if it's there. Mmm. Mmm. Go there, then. Now, declawing. Probably the best option here. Have at. That way you can't get close enough to me. And then the oldest man has to decide what to do. How much does he want to exert himself? Probably a lot. I mean, it's still an option to go around here and start picking away at these guys, but it's better for me to deal with these ones since these guys are not a threat. They're so far away and stumbling over themselves. You might even be able to forge. No, there's no, no real benefit in forging ahead here. Just get around. They look bigger than you. I'm not worried about that. Size isn't everything, unless you're an old man. In which case, being pretty damn huge is awesome. Now, not a lot of things you can do, but if you went, say, here, these guys are stumbling over themselves, you have good armor, and you'd be able to, uh... take care of some of that. Heavy impact, splash damage on one strength. You'd be able to splash all of them with damage. That's good. That is real good. Do I want you there, though? I mean, it's not much difference between there and there, is there? This one locks you in, which could be useful. But being there locks you away. Hmm. I just go there. Come on, then. Let's see how much bigger you really are. Yeah! Hmm. Okay, Ollie. What now? That bear is going soon, and it could have your gonards for lunch. So it might be good for you to stay far away from where it can be. If it can go there and there, then you would be relatively safe here. And then you could just fling an axe at that thing to break it, and you're good at breaking. Very good at breaking. Cannot be denied. That's okay. That's why we have shields. That's why we have shields which can be mended. Man, I can't get enough of Ollie. Oh, uh, that is why we mend shields. Okay. 
This has been fun, but it's time to start considering how we really go in for the attack. Because you have been new to it. It's really just, you're the real threat now. Everybody else is relatively low uh, strength. All things considered, I mean, if my strength was in single digits across the board, I'd be terrified, but I'm not. Uh, anybody still needing healed up a bit? Ollie, honestly. Could get you over here and heal up Ollie a bit. Everybody else is relatively fine. I have to spend extra willpower anyway, so let's just do it like so. Strength of will on Oliver. Up he goes. That plus three feels better already. Right, what now? I don't feel much of a threat from you, nor from you. So the next two turns are relatively free, and then Ivor can do the mother of all Omni Slash here. As long as he targets the bear, really. Which means we need to declaw that bear a bit. <laughs> you still can't get to us. You can, and you come soon, but you're probably going to prefer Ivor for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So, uh... Oh, I'm just laughing at how they are stumbling over themselves so much. Probably best to stay here and just reduce that uh, armor by quite a bit. Oh, man, they all want a piece of Ivor, don't they? Now... How best to do this? Your turn is ages away. Might be an idea just to start getting in and dirty with Krumer. Uh, I must admit, I'm a little drawn to that idea. Thing is, Krumer gets blocked easy, and he has a ton of willpower. Might be good just to stick him in right here. Yeah, he can draw some aggro away as well. Because Ivor isn't going to last forever in there. But he'll last longer when Krumer's on the go. Get away! How did you get hurt? Okay, interesting. But you know what else is interesting? The things that Ivor can do with only one arm. Ollie and Shaggy are up next. You've got eight. You've got nine. He could get damaged a bit, but I suspect they're going to do a number on his armor than his life. But that doesn't change the fact that Ivor should Omni-Slash. How's that? Hmm. Shattering impact as well. Oh, they've made it. Oh, Christ. I didn't see that coming. That shoved him back a fair bit and hurt Krumer as well. Nobody hurts Krumer. Well, they've got to line themselves up, dare I say, perfectly. As long as Ollie can get close in. How close does Ollie want to get? With 13 shield, I don't think he cares about either of these. If he's up close, he can lob his axes for days. As long as he's not in arc. Uh, arc lightning territory himself and he's not here that gets a few of them yeah, I can't get them though hmm. that gets even more of them oh that's gonna hurt <laughs> they absorb it with willpower but that's their problem give them more nice Man, I just can't get enough of Ollie. Ollie's got 10 strength. These things have just a little too much armor for him to have a good day. But he can certainly take care of that. Oh, they are so trapped among themselves. Alright, Ivor, they did nasty things to you, but that's alright. Shaggy will help you from the back lines. Mend them right up. Mmm. It's going to restore 8. 8 of 15. That's not enough. Give him as much as you can. There we go. 10 armor. These regenerative pro... Um, these regenerative things that we have are helping out big time. What do you think, Ollie? You got a bit more in you?
Go, Ollie. Give him all you've got. Joke attack from joke enemy. I don't quite have the willpower to make a joke response, but... Uh... <sighs> Krumer knows Tudium, and he has a lot of pain that he can dish out. So Krumer's next turn is going to be biblical. Unless this guy moves around, and he definitely will. But if he moves here, then that's good. Well, I can't control that, and there's not a lot that uh, Folka can do. I just declaw this thing once and for all. But I should be going for the... Uh, the oh, no, that's not where I expected you to go. That gives me a significantly less uh, interesting tudium. Oh, but when one door closes... Don't walk through too much of that, mind. Go there, then there. As one door closes, sometimes a new door just opens right up. Oh. Right, well, Ivor has got his work cut out for him. Ollie can take his pick if he wants to kill. I think he wants to finish off that beast for what he did. Now, you're the only one that still has anything that can be called uh, resistance to put up. Ivor could put a swift end to that. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. i really got to pay attention to how my guys walk. I drained pretty much all of his, uh, his willpower. Oh, well. Declawed. That 14 armor's a right pain, but oh well. We go for the kill now. I'll stay here so I offer you... A, mm, go here even so I offer you something resembling protection. Didn't even need to throw that axe. Oh, nice. That was very good of them. Okay, Shaggy, your job is not yet over. I need you to mend the oldest man alive. As much as you can. We're at the end stage here, so... Bring him back. Honestly, you could go and kill somebody if you wanted. You can go and kill that one if you want. You're not doing too bad a job, so I'll give you a shot at... Ah, oh, Christ. Wait, what? Did I even run through there? Yeah, well... 90%? We'll get it done. We always do. The path looked clear to me, but oh well. Alright, Folka. I know you're not feeling too great and you have no willpower left. Just get yourself moving. Offer some protection. Or rather, gain some protection from Ollie. Yeah, you, you got nothing left for anything though, so just hold up. Okay, it's been fun, friends. It's been a whole heap of fun, but for you, I'm afraid this fight is over. Oh. Did I horrifically underestimate the amount of damage that would do? I guess I did. In any case, goodbye. Okay, Ollie. Honestly, this is your show. Mm. Should have seen that coming. Alright, Shaggy, just rest up. It's just a case of who wants to do the kill right now. Gotta remember, that's 14. Alright, Ivor still gets a shot, though. Let's guarantee this kill rather than mucking around. Oh, it's cleared up here. Okay. Well, Ivor's still going for the kill. Not like that, he doesn't. Ah! And that was a boss monster as well. Oh, that explains how he put up a front. Hmm. Should pay, pay better attention to that. Alright, an attack, but a pathetic attack. I should keep an eye on what this jeweled petal ring does, though. Ollie, um, Folka doesn't really take much damage, but, uh... If that shield goes down, she becomes a glass cannon, not a particularly powerful cannon. 
Right, Folka called it. When the warped came, they came hard. There's no doubt anymore that Bulwark has some kind of command over them. Folka comes stomping towards you and Juno, flicking smouldering black ash. She doesn't look happy. You don't say. We did mind melt. Well, Juno. Juno mind melted her into coming into this darkness. Alright, what'll it be? Let's get something straight, Juno. <laughs> you drag us out here as captives, and now Bulwark's trying to hunt us down and kill us. Do you see how messed up this is? And back there, you try to give my ravens orders. Tell me again when we're allowed to rest. Go on, say it to my face. No point getting involved here. This isn't Ivor's fight. What do you suggest, Folka? Oh no, don't you dare pretend to be the reasonable one. Oh my. Steam plume from Folka's nostrils like an angry ox. I don't even want to hear your voice. The ravens are under my command, and if you want anyone watching your back, instead of putting a knife... What if I ever spoke like that? <laughs> Sounds cr What do you... Does she even know Ivor? Where did Ivor even come into this? If it ends the bickering, I'll take charge. Sounds good. Let's just hope she has the decency to stay out of your head. <laughs> Who's to say she's not in there right now? Ivor plodded off with her without, uh, without much complaint. The Godstone ahead shimmers. It seems to hold some sway over the darkness somehow. Or maybe the darkness itself. Finds them distasteful. JJ's saying that Ivor's a Sunder Slayer. Let me count the Sunder Slayers. Uh, Ollie threw an axe to kill the blind one. Um, actually, I don't even know who killed... I think Rook took out um, Ruin. Feels like Rook took out Ruin, but I'm struggling to remember that. Certainly the Horseborn didn't. The Golden Glow greets you. Are there people here? At this rate, everyone will be a Sunder Slayer. It's not that special anymore. Disheveled women and children huddle on one side of the godstone while a dredge sits on the other. The dredge has arranged a circle of obsidian stones around itself, and just outside that lie the bodies of a couple dead men. This ain't right. Hmm, just a hunch, but remember that time we killed a dredge baby? Well, Bul Bulwark killed it. A just action, dare I say. Praise the gods, someone's come carrying divine light. Not, not exactly. Hmm. I did know that crest. Ravens, did you come all this way to rob us? <laughs> First we're stuck here with that slag. Ugh, get that thing away from me. The stone hurler stands within its ring of stones, warbling loudly. How interesting. This one is terrified of you, Ivor. How do you know that? She called you Destroyer. I've heard of the Destroyer before, but I had no idea I was traveling with them. Is it really you? They speak of you like we do Bellower. I <laughs> thought you'd be bigger. <laughs> traveling with Volca, but you do not know where we're headed. You're an interesting one, Ivor. We should talk more. Hmm. So Ivor is to the uh, to the dredge what Bellower is to us. And I guess Ivor might seem unkillable. I'm called Hilde. We came here to pray. Guess I don't really need to tell you. We're only alive because of the Godstone, a miracle. And they say the gods are dead. Then this slag comes from nowhere, attacks us, killed their husbands and mine as well. A miserable so sucker he was, but an injustice to be killed by this thing. Mm-hmm. Don't leave this slag a lot. Well, why is the slag just sitting there? What, yeah, what is the dredge's side of the story? Seems a bit more hospitable than the humans we've found, and I have no idea why it's not attacking the rest of them. 
Mm -hmm. She says they left her no choice but to defend herself. Stuck here, same as them. <laughs> we found the only slag lovers in the dying world. Again, and I say it all the time, the writing in this game is brilliant. Also, doesn't she just look like a female rook? Not rook, um, rugga. That's what I'm getting here. Snatches something shiny, waves it in front of you. This is what the ravens need, isn't it? You disgusting vultures, family heirloom worth more than it looks. I say we just bring the stone hurler with us, Ivan. She can obviously fight. <laughs> it was terrified of me that she won't put up much of a struggle. Enough. Keep your trinkets and the dredge. We're leaving. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I came all this way to the side with the dredge. But I really don't want to do what this woman said. Also, there's an heirloom in it for us. Pet dredge pleads demon, and I am tempt. I mean, that, that, all of these tempt me, right? I would like to just tell them to, to stuff it. But I already have a really good team, and I don't want another. Uh, I don't want another character weighing us down. Right. Well, I'm gonna kill it. You drop the dredge with a single unexpected swing, blackening the snow. Mm hmm. What are you waiting for? Praise for killing a slag. Well, kind of. Ollie roars with laughter. Joking that she'd made a fine match for Spar. Spar claims she's too old. <laughs> Where's my heirloom? Or are you telling me that it was worth that much renown? Alright, well, we made it here at least. Poor dredge. No, dead dredge. In a way, the least poor out of everybody. Uh, I don't really want to rest. Nobody's injured. Let's check our heroes and our itinerary. Spar just always got that sly wee grin on his chops. Ah, oh, I love Spar. He's just so good. I mean, he's not that great in combat, but he tells a mean tale, and he hurls an even meaner insult, which I've not been using. I need to actually put that to use. Its range is enormous. I need to use you someday. If I'm ever forced to fight with you, at least you have extra armor. And that's what you're good at. Stone walling. I should really upgrade Ivor so that his Omni Slash is fully ranked. It's only 19. I'm drowning in it. Take it, Ivor. Just take it. Your max on everything, so I'll give you a chance to dodge a strength attack, because that is brutal. No, I don't like bonus crit chance. We have a mender, so I don't need to, uh, to get extra armor per turn. You know what? Puncture. If that comes every now and then, that'll be a nice bonus, so we'll have those. If I promote him a couple more times, he'll get his own uh, his own special name, but Kruma's already got that. Three break talents. Do I have plus all talents by this point? Oh, what do we have here? Divert arm. 30% divert arm. Divert arm? I don't understand. Plus four break. When hit by an adjacent enemy, counterattack for one armor damage. That's not a lot. Divert. Does that make the armor damage go to the enemy? That seems weird and not something that I want to put chance. Honestly, the ox nuts are still the best thing for him. Guaranteed extra break, even though this one is more break. But the break talents and the armor is just, oh, so good. Why would I give him anything other than his nuts? Lots more renown to spend. I know, but the question is who to spend them on. Maybe people that deserve it, but uh, most people are stat capped. The only thing I get out of it now is uh, whatever their uh, talents, and I'm not big on talents. Not big on talents at all. I'd rather keep the stuff just in case. Krumer has a name, yeah, and I keep forgetting it. To me, he's just the old man. The only man who's a similarly old man is uh, Ubin. All right, now let's talk to our friends here. Folk is standing alone, arms crossed, sporting a deadly scowl. Everything all right? Yeah, we're doing great. Our leader is hunting us down. We've been kidnapped by witches, and now we're arguing about how many dredge we can save along the way. It's the kind of thing a little girl grows up dreaming about. I get your point. Hmm. Do you still care about Bulwark? Are you trying to piss me off? 
Imagine little Alette hunting you through the darkness, trying to rip your throat out. Now imagine some arse accuses you of having feelings about it. Oh, man. What do you plan to do with the axe? Its name is Claw, and what I would plan to do it is my bit. She's gonna kill Juno with it, isn't she? Can we agree to keep it tucked away? Oh, man. I'm not suicidal, either. I'm not going to plant it in Volca's skull. Not right now. How did you get accepted? Is this the part where you ask me about my past? We talked about family and hug. Eat some black snow varl. These guys all chose to be here just like me, and that's the truth. That's all the family you need to know about. Considering you don't even mention family, you doubt that's the whole story. But you let it drop. You're always this pleasant. I've never asked to be around you. I always heard that the Varl like their space, and you're not wrong. Mm-hmm. My kind treat you like you're diseased if you don't act right, but the Ravens, they don't judge. It's not like I want to be completely alone. I just don't need tedious, pointless conversations with every idiot who has... Oh, Folka is capturing my heart here. Oh, damn it all, you got me talking about my... Uh, we done here? Okay. I get why you came over now. Juno's ready to go. No, I came on my own. Hmm? I used to be great at telling when someone is lying, but it sure is harder these days, isn't it? You know what I mean? Let's get something straight. I'll make... I'll take talking to you over Juno, but you're no raven. And whatever happened to Bulwark, I'm not convinced that he doesn't have a good reason for what he's doing. So don't give me a reason to let him. Yeah, I do not like this. Bad things happen when I let my guard down, excuse me. <laughs> Group of ravens is an unkindness. I thought it was a murder. Alright, enough of therapeutic Ivor. What's the leper doing? Yeah, this um, this group is top-heavy with people I really like. We've got Ollie, we've got Ivor, we've got Shaggy, we've got Folka. We've got Spar and Krumer. Oh, man, we've got the dream team here. Alfrun finds a quiet moment to make her way over to you. Why didn't you tell me, Varl? About being the destroyer. It isn't something that comes up often. You'll have to excuse me, I don't always know how to speak with people. I spend a lot of time alone. Oh, we who shape the stone. You didn't think the dredge called himself dredge, did you? There's quite a lot I've learnt from them. Some things you may know, many secret. Alright, well, might as well punch these people for some dialogue. Let's have it. Mending? Ah, call it what it is. We pluck at the threads of reality. Almost anyone can see them, if you know how to look. Who do you think taught the teachers? The gods. And who taught the gods? Even godlier gods. Oh my, I wanted to leave Alfrun in the dust, but uh, even she's pulling her weight. Anyway, you see my point. Don't think so highly of your mender friends. They're more dangerous than they let on. I trained to be a mender when I was just a girl. They tried to kill me. The Varl right there was the one they sent to do it. Bercy! Bercy has had the lowest profile in all of this. So I don't go pointing at him. I don't think he even remembers me. I looked a little different back then. But I escaped. They train their simple-minded menders to heal stubbed toes and raise walls. It's a fine distraction. But if an apprentice doesn't have the skill, they're a threat to the Mender's reputation. If you show too much skill, well, you're an even bigger threat. Uh-huh. You all need to stop looking at everything as us and them. Some of them are friends, others not. I understand how hard it can be. See past differences impossible at times. But so many don't even try. Is she taking a dig at me? I'm nothing if not a trader of knowledge, you know. The rarest secrets don't come cheap. How about this? In exchange for telling me how you became the destroyer, I'll tell you something you might find quite important. Ah, uh, this feels like dangerous knowledge to pass on to someone like that. I don't remember Juno saying we should go blabbing to everybody. I'd, I'd really, really rather not. A shame. Just one more thing. 
are those varl horns on your staff. Nothing to worry about, Ivor. They were a gift that I treasure very much. I have friends of all sorts, but as you said, we should get going. Hmm. Jake trusting Juno. Why now of all times? She's the only one keeping us alive unless we went to stay next to the Dreadstone. Uh, the Godstone. And I don't. Let's leave. Ivor being the destroyer is the one from before the story, Jake. Not the one with Juno. Oh, really? Damn, wish I'd told it now. Oh, well. Hang on. Maybe we have the power to go and check that. Oh, man. 2021. Oh. Oh. Is this going to take me to the walking? Yeah, it takes me straight to the walking. Probably 21. But if I went the Godstone, I probably didn't. Uh... Oh, it's just back to killing the. Ah, uh, the... oh, that's fine. We can speed through it. Most of the time we spent reading through things. But now I want to know. I need to know about the destroyer tale. Right, blah, blah, blah. Mm hmm. Actually, we could explore it. Nah, let's stick to what we've already done. Calls you destroyer, thought you'd be bigger. Injustice. The dredge. Da, 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 da. Kill it, kill it. I'll do as the woman says. Down it goes. Got the coin bracelet. It was a coin bracelet, wasn't it? Talk to Folka. Ah, jeez, right. I spent a long time on this now. But I can just mash through it. Are you trying to piss me off? I don't want to miss any of these in case there were triggers for future things down the... Uh, down the road. Take it easy. I don't think she likes being called... Uh, being told to take it easy. Don't forget to level up Ivor, Jake. Oh, I didn't do that either, did I? And that could be done at any point, but... This is where it's good to be in the future, watching this on YouTube, where you can just skip right through all this. Uh, what did I give him? Probably gave him Puncture, and I probably gave him Avoid Strength Attack. I think you can hold space to speed up. Is that so? Let's try that. Well, I'll be diddled. There we go. Uh, what did I say? I can't remember. Sculptors and friends. You learn mending on your own. Da 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 da. -da. What kind of secrets. Trader of knowledge. Right, we're back where we were. Uh, if you promise to keep it to yourself, sure. I do. The Sunder I killed. Rays. It was no legendary battle. When I brought her. Head back to the other Varl, they invented their own stories. The truth is, I got separated from my allies, found her out in a snowstorm alone, cradling an infant. My axe accidentally killed the child. She didn't even put up a fight after that. It was Bellower's child? Okay, well that goes away to explaining why Bellower has been trying to kill Ivor. Are you certain? Completely. Consider that our trade. There is more to tell at another time, maybe. Well, I'm glad I went back to find that out. We killed Bellower's child, we killed Bellower's wife, and then we killed Bellower. Not bad, I dare say. Alright, let's hit the road for real this time. That cost us three whole minutes. Righto, so uh, discount gun murder here. Does it worry anyone else that they've somehow gotten ahead of us? What was once a hill has been twisted into a thin strip of land, pooled long like spider silk. Bulwark is nowhere in sight. 
They don't need rest. Overt can't confront us directly, not while the Valka live. He's going to thin the herd all the way to Ridgehorn. <laughs> it's exactly what we'd do, isn't it? I hate freaking Ollie. Folka, you're the best here. Give me the tactical advice. If it were us, we'd lure them across, lay archers to hit them from the wings while spears came up to fill the retreat. Something tells me the warped can't coordinate like ravens, though. But what would Bolvert do with a bunch of drunk idiots? He'd make it look like a trap, so we'd try to get fancy. My gut says we just rush it. Ollie's already drawn an axe. All right, well, off, off we go then. Nobody stops until we cross. The ravens advance quickly. The warp are slow to respond. Slingers, rush them. Oh, I can rush. No real reason to change our lineup here. Sigbjorn, what are you even doing here? <laughs> Bercy. Is there anything to say about Bercy? He's just been hanging around like a bad smell. Nothing to really say about the guy. This team's really low on items. I guess I could give him that in case I ever need to actually deploy him. Which could happen. Sometimes we're forced into a situation where we need to bring in more and you can't item them up mid-fight. Ah, this, feels, this seems fine. Just go for it. Bercy isn't even an old man. He must be one of the youngest Varl around. Which makes you wonder how staggered was their creation. Two, four, six, eight. Man, they like to fight in packs of eight. Could have gone worse. It's because we followed Folka's advice. And always should. Alright, can't tell if this is going to be a drawn out fight or not. But I do know that there's not many safe places for you. Uh, these guys are going to stumble over themselves getting over here, so we should go over this way and focus fire on these guys. The bear is the only big heavy hitter that they truly have. Well, heavy hitting. Uh, you can go in and absolutely murderize that. Oh. Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. Oi, oi, oi. Ollie's good there because he can run in and throw things, but... Sometimes it's bothersome having everybody the way I do. Well, Ollie's a good shield, especially if he stands next to you. Well, he's not a good shield, actually. God, he's only got 12 armor. How did I miss that? Ollie's actually a bit of a joke. Well, I wouldn't say that to his face. He's good at what he does. All right, let's just have at. You can charge in and shank them, if nothing else. Morale is surprisingly good. Great, even. And we stay clear of these guys attacks for a while. That's lovely. If you just get over there, you can just shank. And you could even come and declaw. That's not it's gonna be worse than a declawing. Who goes first on there for you do? Hmm. No telling what you're gonna do, but if you block old man, I won't be impressed. No to no need to expend willpower over this, because you'll be able to slaughter it anyway, assuming it doesn't run away. Maybe a little bit. Come and have a go. Oh, that's not where I want you at all. Oh, dang. Did not want you hitting Ollie. And yet, you hit Ollie. Right, the plus side is that I can engage you with uh, whoever, really. Oh, no. The good side is that Spar can give us all a tale worth telling here. Without me having to move much. If I just go there and bring this guy to the ground... Just as I would have put it, Spar. Now, does Spar want to lose a bit of willpower himself, dragging himself through that? I don't think he does. I don't think he even wants to be near all this stuff. Yeah, it's probably alright. Spar doesn't have a lot of use for his willpower, he's just there to tell tales. Tell tall tales. Ucha. Before you consider yelling insults, who goes when? Ivor gets a turn before you do, and Ivor could declaw that guy. Something fierce. I don't need to worry about these guys getting turns anytime soon. I mean, what are they going to do? Come through and not do much damage to either of you? That thing has already had its turn. 
you'll be kept at a distance anyway, and you are ages away, so just chill out there for now, Spar. Oh, that's not what I like. Oh, ho, ho, no, no, no. Spar is now within range of that guy. Oh, okay, well, dang. What a damn shame. And that pushed him a little bit further away than I'd like, but I can get you to body block, Ivor. And uh, let's take a two for the price of one on this one. That's how he does it. Oh, it was absorbed, of course. i got to remember that some of them do that. Wasn't a big deal, though. Ollie. Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. Probably bring you over here so you can declaw this guy a wee bit. I've not been able to use Ollie's axe throwing for a while because he keeps getting mulched on... Um... Oh, can you zap that? No, you can't. He can, however, shield wall if he's somewhere like here. Shield wall to both of them. That's probably a good trade. Plunk. Can I zap you? I can, and that's pretty good for getting to both of you, so enjoy. 13. The oldest of old men will rip you asunder anyway. You less so. Oh, but I can't reach you, so I guess you're getting the break. Little extra from Ollie. Alright, Spar, give it your all. Oh, it didn't hit up Spar. I guess it didn't want to exert willpower for some reason. Uh, not, yeah, Spar. Nobody's that hurt on armor, but I might keep you back anyway. Oh, there's no reinforcements. This is nice. Get over there and mend our shield maiden. Because I know it can go higher. <laughs> Just as well. Oh, oh nicely done. Uh, I can appreciate a good attack, and that was a good attack. Now the question is, what are you going to do? If you stand there, you're going to protect everyone from that guy sneaking in. If you stand there, you can actually put up a defense and save, uh... Save Jub Jub. Shield main and adjacent allies take half damage from all attacks, but I kind of want to go in the offensive. And if you go there, you can at least jab that thing. Oh, I'm draining her of all of her willpower at this rate, sadly. It's alright though, old man's gonna come in, slaughter that thing, and we'll hear a tale worth telling. So it's probably good to start declawing uh, my opponent's uh, shield right now. There you go. Now these guys waste turns, they're so far away. Now, get over here. And just end this guy, because I need to hear about it. Excellent. Oh, I just love getting the uh, the willpower back. It might seem a bit yeah using up um, using a guy that doesn't attack very well just for that. But consider it. That's like plus six willpower every time I get a kill if he's positioned well, and he should be positioned well. He should also start breaking some armor around here. I'm not too worried about her armor. We can get it back. I'm more concerned about. That's still okay against that. Ivor's going next. He could certainly reduce this guy to shreds, so it's probably a good idea to have Spar here or here. That's fine. He'll still be in range, and we'll hear the we'll hear Ivor's tale worth telling. What happened to you? Are you? Uh... Oh, of course, impale causes um, causes puncture. Okay, well that's all right because I just came here to reduce armor. Keep fighting the good fight there. We believe in you. Ten and nine. Hmm. But I won't get a tale worth telling that way. And I want that tail. Heavy impact. It'll hurt this thing as well. Oh, I thought it would. There we go. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Alright, Ollie. Anybody with low armor that you can start flinging at. 
That's not low enough, sadly. Ollie's strength is uh, is a little lacking right now. If he goes here, he'll provide some good armor. If he goes here, he'll provide some better armor, but be under relatively small threat, actually. Uh, go there. Provide armor bonus for both of you, and bring down that armor, please, because I want that 13 strength reduced. Not afraid. He can handle it. And our shield mate needs to handle better as well. It's fine. So a, a good thing about having Spar in here as well is that he's keeping uh, Shaggy completely topped up on willpower, so he can mend like crazy. Mending gives you half of his willpower in armor, so that's just... I mean, you don't need me to tell you how good that is. Right, this guy's going next. Not on my watch. Get... Shrekt out of here. I don't want any more of that 13 coming and biting me. Alright, speaking of things I do or don't want. I would get tail worth telling if I was a little closer. It's worth eating this. Ouch. In order to do this. Ouch. There, this is a much better utilization of Spar than I did last time. What was that? Dunno, but I didn't like it. When do you go? Quite soon. That thing still has way too much strength. Spar's gonna have to come in and do something about it. Oh yeah, the art style shines in combat. And the, uh, I don't want to take away from the sound effects in it as well. Okay, you are a dead man if I don't get you out of there, especially since that thing's still going. Oh, this is painful. Ivor's gonna lose it all here. But he will give us a tale worth telling. Ouch, ouch, ouch. This better be good. Ollie, Ollie better get the hell out of there. Hold on, does it, um... Does it steal willpower at all? No, it just explodes on death. I forget which ones absorb willpower until they... It's you, the spearmen have unearthly endurance. Good for them, but... Have at! Ollie's gonna need all this willpower to run away. And he will be running away, I'm not losing anybody here. Because he's a, he's a long dead man. If I get him out here, nobody could reasonably pursue him. Yeah, just, just skedaddle Ollie. There is nothing in here worth dying for. Not that he'd die, he would, however, take an injury. Uh oh, don't you dare. Oh, thank god, I thought it was pursuing. Okay, uh. Everyone's looking pretty good on the whole health front. Is there anybody? Oh yeah, Ivor could do with a bit of, uh, not health, but armor. Mend Ivor a touch. Easy there, Spar. You're made of sterner stuff and we know it. Oh, Spar could give us a tale worth telling. And that'll free up you to come around and slaughter that thing. Very well. Oh, Spar is warped as well. It's the bear that's warping us, right? There's no willpower left for poor Ivor. Alright, well, soon there's going to be not much anything left for you guys. Get over here. That willpower draining is inconsequential. Oh god, now they're swimming in the stuff. So much grunting and groaning out of Spar, but he can handle it. He's a... He's a good man. He's an old man, after all. Okay, well. Krumer, I'll be honest. I want to hear the tale you have to tell. <laughs> Ollie's still kicking. You know what? Ollie deserves another shot. I just 
this out there. Oh, well, you know, I don't give enough kills to our shield maiden, do I? But I still want to hear about it. I think it's a tale worth telling. Wonderful. Man, I'm getting good at this. sound and the visual style come together so well in this. You feel the hurting. Whether you're eating it or delivering it. This time the warps seem even more organized. Are they learning? That could have gone all wrong, Spar says, peering over the bridge's edge at the twisted rocks below. Yeah, we could all be dead. Come on, this isn't the place to give Bulwark another try. Oh, I can zoom in. I must have missed that one for a long time. Morale's on the way down, but it's still good. Would have been better if I'd rested in the last place, but could I even? 